Top five real quick. It is Elliot Wilson, number five. He was number eight last year. Number four is Charlemagne the God. Um, number three is Kai Sanat. Number two is Joe Budden. And number one is DJ Academics. Who's the fifth slot again? Elliot Wilson. Elliot Wilson. Who's the fourth slot? Charlemagne, Charlemagne the God. I'm not mad at this top five. Really? You think... Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. You think Elliot should be in, in the number five slot? I'm glad you brought that up. Similar, Very similar to what Savon was saying, right? I don't think that the people that conducted this list solely put it on the body of works that they put out, right? I think it was also centered around on, hey, man, how much, of a, how much are you a part of hip-hop, right? Like, how, how um, visible are you in our space? So if they're leaning towards visibility, nigga, Elliot be everywhere. This comment, screen shoot a picture here, put it up here. Mm-hmm. He's very visible. I, I will say that. I don't know what people decide to digest in terms of content or what they keep up when it comes to him. He's very active. He's very active. That, that is a fact. I see Elliot more than Fontano. That's for sure. For sure. I, I, you know, even, and I fuck with Ebro. I don't see Ebro as much as I see Elliot. No. I don't, the, the and only, I fuck with you, bro. The only thing that kind of deters me from uh, fully agreeing with the number five slot for Elliot is like, whenever he's like speaking or like on a podcast somewhere, he always references where he's come from and like what he's done in the past. Yeah. But in my mind, it's like, all right, like if you're here and you're on this platform, especially nowadays, like let me know more. What, let's let's talk about more about what you're doing now, like who you with, who you're talking to, like stuff that's coming up. Like, don't give me like a history lesson in a sense. Some people are just like that, right? Where they're like, yo, man, I've been doing things for a while, and you might know or you might not know. Yeah, but every time, though? I'm, P, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. I know people that I'm close to that are like that. Okay. <laughs> and I don't decide to love them any less. I know some niggas, every time they come around, yo, I used to be this, I used to be that. You know, I do this, I do... I, but again, because I know who the individual is. But to your point, a lot of people don't know Ali Wilson. Mm-hmm. So I, you're mm-hmm. right. To that, to the naked eye, I could see, we're like, damn, you're always picking yourself up. On the other side of things, when you're active and you're still outside, you might want to remind some people that are younger than you, like, yo, I did used to do this. I get it, mm-hmm. though. After a while, it's like, oh, my God. Especially when you have a resume like his. Yeah, like, you're going to pull it out. I ain't going to front. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 I shit. think, <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'm yeah. also just trying to think of my answer to the question. I don't know who else. Right now, I, we could, like, brainstorm. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I don't know who else I would put in the top five. Besides this list, besides mm-hmm. DJ Head, as we have stated, mm-hmm. I don't know who else I would personally take out to put in, if honestly. We, if we're going off the guidelines of like um, what they said, which is it was, a lot of it was centered around the Kendrick and Drake shit, academics, Elliot Wilson, Joe Budden, um, I guess commentary when it comes to Charlemagne the God around that situation. He would talk about it on Brilliant Idiots. Wait, Channel. this was like the official criteria that... Drake and Kendrick they, they did mention that, right? They did it mention the criteria. Like that was in the rubric? That, that was they one of the points that kind of leaned heavily right. Right. towards, right? So there was a I, bunch of different factors. I'm so that confused. was one of the biggest Elliot came factors. out and told us how Kendrick Lamar came up to him and said, you're a rat. So, he's in LA. So he was involved. He's you on know, the show with saying? DJ Head. He was. Like, oh, sorry. It just clicked for me that that's, that's one of the official criteria. Yeah. How was DJ Head not I don't know. Like that is. You got to talk to your man Jordan. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it sounds like, OG. You the OG. Yeah, get it. get You the OG. You just shouted out Jordan Rose. Like, <laughs> yeah, his words yeah. is all I mean, honest. I'll, you got to talk to Jay Rose. I'll talk, I'll talk to him, and I know he's going to tell me the truth, but I'm not going to air it well, on you air. Get the, well, no, when you get the I truth, tell us, though. Yeah. <laughs> just, I would never do that. Hit the group chat. Tell us. For sure. And it's not about knocking Jay Rose, because I don't want to make him the face of people who, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not just him. He is the face of conflict. Shout out to you, Jordan. He is the face. I will say it. You really are. And what we will say to that is, Great power comes great responsibility, and right. I, I'm sure now his name is kind of associated with. I'm this. sure next yeah. year when this list comes out, right. he's going to be a lot more involved in. Hey, what's the criteria, and how do we go about this? Right. But with all of that being said, the top five, I think Charlamagne had a problem with Elliot being in the top five, which resulted in Elliot Wilson crashing out on social media for like a week. <laughs> now, <laughs> Elliot, we love you. January 14th, Capricorn. I get it. That Twin. is so crazy that you guys have the same birthday. Twin. Facts. It fucks me up that is when so I wild. see him crashing out in this way. <laughs> yeah. Because instinctually, it's just continue to do the work. Fuck what Charlemagne says about you. 
Although Charlemagne is great. Now, save on. You brought up the Capricorn shit. I fuck with Charlemagne. I'm he's competitive. Charlemagne. He's, no, 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 no. he's competitive. Thank you. It's got nothing to do with Charlemagne. Okay. I'm talking about you because I love you and I yeah. know you. Mm -hmm. You have had some of those same tendencies in the past. <laughs> but not only some crash out. Publicly or privately? Both as, as a little well. bit. More private. Absolutely. Way more private. But I'm saying though, like, don't fault him when you understand it. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. No, I am faulting. <laughs> yeah. Because I think there's also a responsibility with the position that he's in. Because he's always said, I want to be active. I am active. I don't want to be mentioned with the Angies and the big boys. Like, yes, mention me with them as far as what I've done, but also mention me with the Joe Buttons and the Charlemagne's with what I'm doing. Gotcha. Right? That's been Elliot's stance for like the last two years. And I respect that. And I get that. But I also think there's a way to go about it. And crashing out because that's it looks like a crash out like that's what it looks like i don't know if that's his on intent. social media and shit. on social media it looks like he's crashing out i think charlemagne's issue with uh elliot was he believed that elliot complained his way into the top five i think joe even mentioned it too like yo elliot you only got here because you was bitching and moaning and bitching and moaning <laughs> like so damn you're getting in these positions and whether you deserve it or not, that's not up to me. Personally, do I think Elliot deserved to be in the top five? Yes. I believe Elliot should be in the top five when it comes to this type of list because I don't think anybody after his name was called has been as visible, as informed, or as vocal mm -hmm. when it comes to the things that's happened in hip hop over the last six months, seven months, eight months, whatever you want to call it. Yep. Right? So I agree with his placement. I don't agree with just how he kind of goes, goes about, about people it. who yeah. doesn't agree with him. Like you've been a media for Matt Long. Everybody's not going to agree with you. But see, that's what I'm, that's the thing about me getting older. I'm realizing that people are who they are. And to real I, shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, like I'm, I'm really like, it takes, of course, right. The mature professional approach that we maybe want to expect out of someone is like, yo, you don't got to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. The older I get, bro, I'm realizing people are who they are. And, that's a fact. And I feel like now, too, that's it's kind of coming off as um, that's part of Elliot's strategy. Like, hey, let me let me react to this. Let me say it. Let me but post keep it in mind. Let, but, but let's be honest. Though. Let's be yeah, because let's be honest. People were trying to call his traditional. Um, Media a bit Style. boring, yeah. right? Niggas say it all the time. They say it all the time. So maybe he thought like, all right, man, y'all playing. Let me turn it up. Let <laughs> me turn it up. Like, I'm really turn on it. I'm really like this. <laughs> I also think, yeah. I agree with Savon. Like, there's a certain way to go about it, like mm. addressing things. But also, I'm realizing like, they like Charlemagne and Button were talking shit about mm -hmm. Elliot. So in his mind, in Elliot's mind, probably it's like, okay, I'm gonna respond. Like you guys were talking mad shit about me. I'm gonna get like my feelings off. But then again, like I also agree, there's a certain way to go about it, and right. I'm not the one to tell him how to go about it. But right. that's just what he's doing. He's like, yo, you talk about me first. I'm gonna talk about you. Like, and the thing that really triggered Elliot was Charlemagne's mention of him not being in the top five. Now I don't know, like Charlemagne didn't elaborate on why he didn't feel. Elliot should be in the top five. So I don't know. I have no idea why he feels that way. Right. I listen to Brilliant Idiots every single week for the last eight years of my life, mm -hmm. including last week's episode. Mm -hmm. And I still don't know why Charlemagne feels how he feels. He didn't Wait, really he give... Didn't, he didn't mention... He didn't the, give an explanation. Oh, I thought... I could have sworn like, people said he did give an He didn't give okay. much of an explanation for, as to why. He for, just said... I don't believe Elliot should be in that place. He didn't say where he should be. He just said, yo, you're an OG in this game. Right. You should be on another list. And you shouldn't feel any type of way about not being mentioned with the guys who's doing it today. And I can respect that. But also, to be as visible as Elliot Wilson and not have a daily reoccurring breakfast club, not have a Joe Budden podcast that you're a part of on a week-to-week -week basis. Granted, I know he's just started the bigger picture with DJ Head, and I forget the other guy's name. And that's a whole up rocks operation. Mm -hmm. I understand. I actually like the content there. I get it. But even that's a new, that's a very new uh, piece of content. It is. You know what I'm it saying? Is. So to still be that visible and not have anything reoccurring on a week to week mm -hmm. basis like that. Like he was on Patreon and he was still visible. 